China's central bank is in a bind, and it has to do with its currency, the yuan. To understand how, let's take a look at the concept of something called the impossible trinity, otherwise known as the trilemma. This is an economic theory that says a country can't have a controlled exchange rate, free flow of capital, and an independent monetary policy at the same time. A country can control two, but not all three. For a long time, China seemed to defy this theory. It kept its exchange rate well in check, even in terms of turmoil. For instance, during the 2008 financial crisis, it essentially pegged the yuan to the US dollar. At the same time, the central bank also slowly lifted controls on money flowing in and out of the country, which helped attract investors to its markets. It was able to do this while also keeping interest rates under control. Bingo, three out of three. But now, China appears to be caught in the trilemma. That's because it's going all out to prevent its currency from weakening as fast as markets would like. In other words, it's focusing its economic firepower on one leg of the triangle, a stable currency. That makes it hard to prevent the other two sides from crumbling. The flow of capital is much more rigid. Because China is so worried about the yuan weakening, it's made it much more difficult for money to leave. But money is still leaking out, and China has spent nearly $1 trillion of its foreign currency exchange reserves buying back yuan to keep the rate stable. What is perhaps even more worrying is that the defense of the currency's value appears to be holding monetary policy hostage. Monetary policy is only independent if the central bank doesn't have other orders to follow. Experts say that in China now, the central bank has to first consider the effect on the currency before providing banks with more funds to lend. In other words, it is putting all its money on the yuan, focusing on only one leg of the triangle. Is it worth it? Well, that's the next trillion dollar question.